Friday we are going to start off our vlog here I am getting ready to plan out my week we're gonna go to Panera sit outside um, like I said plan out my week I'm gonna be finishing up editing the vlog that's gonna go out um, this week, when you guys will see it'll already be out but it was a very interesting week a lot of adjusting pivoting some spontaneous moments um, and I'm not mad at it, you know, like you guys will see some fun times that we had that we didn't necessarily plan on. The weather was absolutely beautiful. So I allowed myself to just enjoy these spontaneous moments. Um, we wrapped up the coaching program for the Clear and Confident Academy. It went really well. I can't wait to offer it again. I got some amazing feedback. I'm super excited for what my clients are doing um, and executing everything that God has called them to do or just restructuring um, their lives to be as productive as possible and get the things that God has called them to do done. So I'm very excited about that. I have had one of those charged lemonades from Panera and those just give me so much energy but not focus. So it's like I have to find another like supplement that will give me energy but allow me to get a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna probably go back to this um, tea. It's called Zest Tea and it has like octane in it which is supposed to help you to focus. So I'm gonna try that again. Um, other than that, you guys will see me throughout the day and we'll catch up probably we'll check in today and then tomorrow is my sister's birthday so we'll see what we're doing then and that's it y'all just wanted to come on and say hey don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and we'll check in later bye betty's buying her first pair of hoops Opening hoops Look friendly, you gonna be on camera. <laughs> oh snap! Did I put them in right? Did I put them in right? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Oh girl! Oh, what other one? Oh, she looks so cute. I need pinks. Huh? No, the pink, they don't have those. Can't take Betty nowhere. Look at her. Oh, embarrassing. Come on, Betty. You're supposed to be riding dirty. Here you go. Riding like you ain't never rolled before in your life. <laughs> What's up, family? And happy Sunday. We have church today. Why am I always out of breath every time I get on this camera? Somebody tell me. Tell me why. Um, no, seriously. Tell me why I'm always out of breath. It's Sunday. I'm very excited. Um, I have so much to do today. I was up late last night because my brother and my father were watching the fight and they were screaming top of their lungs till like 1 a.m. So I am. Um, I woke up kind of a little bit later than I thought I would, but we're getting ready to go to church. I need to go grocery shopping today. I usually go grocery shopping on Fridays, but y'all know that we are in the middle of a reset where I'm going to be switching around my routine because the other one is not working. And that's okay um so after i go to church i'm gonna go grocery shopping i need to come back home and i need to wash my sheets clean my bathroom and by the time i do that it will be time for me to go see uncle johnny jonathan McReynolds at the concert in dc and i am so excited i am going to vlog a little bit but one thing about me when i am at any type of event or like concert or anything i like to be really in the moment um, and I don't like to be with my phone out because I feel like that's the one time, like, we spend so much of our lives. He's so loud. 
we spend so much of our lives like behind the screen like for me a concert is a, per a time to like interact with that person whoever's performing on a more intimate level and i paid to see a person not a screen so i'm gonna grab some footage but it's not going to be like super long because again i'm here to see uncle johnny i'm here to be in the presence of god and be pulled into this atmosphere and i don't want to miss any of the moments like hiding behind my phone so i'm excited about that um i'm wearing something really simple i'm not gonna do too much but yeah, so we're gonna go to church and I will see you guys probably when I go grocery shopping. I'll check in. charged lemonades from Panera they are so freaking good and they are the only things that actually give me like energy I've been um I usually have like when I need energy I usually will drink will take like my little dark chocolate espresso brains from Tanner Joe's but they have not been energizing me lately so that's right here girl this this will get you right okay that I've tried all the flavors the best one for me is the one I have it's the mango Uzi or Uzi or whatever is better than a strawberry mint for me, but try it if you haven't already. I'm probably on my way home. I don't know if I'm at time to do a grocery haul because I need to go live, but if I do, yeah, we'll see. Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> y'all, we'll see what I got. Bye. Okay, y'all, quick grocery haul. Nothing too big. I got some boil in the bag jasmine rice because I cannot make rice to save my life. I don't know why. Some chicken drumsticks. I'm making curry chicken. I already have curry powder. Some little taco shells for my leftover turkey meat. Some little bars. I always get, I always get all my snacks from Aldi's because, I don't know, they're just good. Um, some little protein, dark chocolate thingy, some thyme, some carrot, ginger, some potatoes for the curry, some vanilla almond milk. I love freaking corn muffins. Like, listen, you got to get that. I keep these in my car for when I get hangry. We need a few more seasonings, some turkey meat. Listen, I usually get the regular bread of these, but listen, I have to have chocolate in the house. Some dark chocolate, some more onions, some dark red kidney beans for my chili, and then some chili seasoning pack. So we're making chili this week and curry chicken. I'm not Jamaican, so don't, don't nobody even listen okay we make an americanized version of curry chicken if somebody that's you know from the islands want to come make me some curry i would definitely eat it but this is eating for the week and i will see y'all when i head out later bye <laughs>
Monday. If y'all hear noise outside, it's because my neighbor just decided to use the little blow thingy for his grass. I don't know where, even though it was quiet all day. Y'all know how it is. Anyway, it's Monday. I am tired, okay? I have got to figure out what vitamin or nutrient I'm deficient in because it's like no matter if I get two hours or 12 hours of sleep, I am still tired. I know some people are like, oh, like you should exercise. And it's like I exercise lightly, but you need energy to exercise. And I don't want to be like addicted to like coffee and caffeine. So I have got to figure it out. I've tried B12 and B12 like makes my face break out. So I'm like, ah, do we want clear skin or energy? You know, why do I have to choose? So that's where I'm at. Anyway, it's Monday. Today, I had to do a lot of like tax related things, which has my brain. And I'm trying to like get myself to sit down and start writing, you know, another chapter of my book. I usually like to do my writing in the mornings because after a certain time, like after two o'clock, my brain capacity has kind of like left the building and it's time for me to either recharge or just be done with that work for the day. Just a tip, like I always recommend that you guys pay attention to like your peak uh, creative zones, right? Like for me, I'm the most productive, I would say like your peak productivity zones, right? So for me, I'm the most productive between like 10 and two and after two o'clock, I need to be working on either nothing or really, really light tasks that don't require a lot of my brain because I'm just exhausted from the day. Um, and because I really limit down my to-do list and I only focus on like one to two items that are high priority and high intensity, even if I don't get 12 things done, I've gotten done what's really important. So um, today is one of those days where it's like I did what I needed to do and now I'm just going to probably work on like one lower task, which is like my writing and then be done with it. But um, so yeah, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to check in as I'm about to do some work. And I will talk to you guys uh, later on this week, either tomorrow or I don't really know y'all. We're just going to keep the vlog going. Bye. Kinsley starting up the vlog today. He's sleepy. Hi, sneaky back. I'm sick. He doesn't like the camera, but say good morning. Say good morning. Say good Get your toes out the camera. Look, he is literally so dramatic. I we see you. Yes, you're on camera. You're exposed. Now you're trying to play sleep. We're not having it, Kingsley. We're not having it. Anyway, y'all. That's stinky dink. Prayer is an act of surrendering control. It's acknowledging that, God, I cannot do this on my own. God, I'm not the God of my own 
life and I need your help in every area. So you begin to humble yourself in prayer by going and asking the Father for help, asking him to change your perspective of your situation, asking him to give you the wisdom and the strategy that's needed for this season, and even asking him to change your response to your situation, right? One of the things that God has been helping me in this season, and I'm going to talk about on future episodes, is not responding so emotionally to everything. I feel like I am typically the type of person that takes things personally sometimes. And I felt like, you know, God, why would you give me this thing if, you know, X, Y, Z was going to happen? And God is like, remove your emotions from this and remember who I am. When you don't surrender your emotions to God and you leave them unchecked, they will cause you to forget who God is. And they can even cause you to accuse God of something that's not in his character, right? There is no evil within God. He is not deceiving. He is not conniving. There is nothing corrupt about him, right? We serve a pure, holy God who has plans to prosper us and not to harm us, where all of his promises are yes and amen. When he speaks a word, it will accomplish accomplish exactly what he sent it to do. He is not a liar. He can only speak truth, right? That is the God that we serve. And our emotions will often try to convince us otherwise. And that's why it's so important to respond first with prayer and do it on a daily basis, right? As we talked about, surrendering control is a daily thing. Matthew 6 verse 34 in the message translation says, Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard thing comes up when the time comes. It's highlighted a million times in my Bible. It's all over my Cast Your Cares journal. It's everywhere because, again, I need to be reminded that I need to surrender daily. And you do too. Now, the last thing that I'm going to share that God has really been helping me with as far as surrendering control is he's been changing the way that I study the Bible. Now, when I first started studying the Bible, I was just looking up scriptures to basically match how I feel, right? If I was feeling anxious, I would look up scriptures for anxiety. If I was feeling fearful, I would look up scriptures to overcome fear. But over the past year or so, God has been transitioning me from emotion-based studying into character-based studying. And what I mean by that is he's been shifting me into studying based on his character to get to know more about him. Sometimes we can be so consumed with trying to bandage our own wounds with scripture that we miss who God is trying to reveal himself as through the scriptures. And I feel like this has made a huge difference in the way that I'm able to trust God. Um, Because I feel like I've been through a lot of weird transitions and things that have really challenged my faith walk. But one thing that has kept me anchored is studying the character of God and just really getting to know him better um, through the scriptures. And what really prompted me to uh, switch the way that I was studying was when I read Matthew 6. um, This was in verse 33, a little bit down. This is also in the message translation. And it says, people who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things. And by these things, this is the scripture where he's talking about, don't worry about what to eat or what to drink or all those other things. Um, It says people who do not know the way that God works fuss over these things, but you know God and how he works. And that really challenged my understanding of God, right? Because what he's saying is unbelievers worry about, you know, what's going to happen to them and how they're going to do this and how they're going to pay for this and all these other things. But as believers, of Christ, right? As sons and daughters of Christ, we have a level of peace that comes with knowing our God. And sometimes when we're so focused on bandaging our emotions, we miss the one who is bandaging them. Y'all, I really have beef with every single person who mows their lawn because why you didn't start mowing your lawn until I started recording my podcast? I just, I just want to know, like, it'd be quiet all day it doesn't matter what time i record my podcast somebody wants to be mowing their lawn it's like be for real 
anyway y'all we're about to get into this episode and we are i have a topic but usually when i record the holy spirit be switching my topic in the middle of me talking so we'll see how it goes but i'm gonna bring you guys along behind the scenes um i don't have a super fancy setup just my microphone that's attached to my desk um, my laptop a quiet room loud outside um i got my tea here and my cup says girl you got this um because i do and that's it y'all so we'll get into the recording Hello family and welcome back to another episode of the Organize My Thoughts podcast. Y'all, when I tell you I'm feeling every bit of that 5 a.m. right now, listen, it's been a productive morning, but my God, this is going to take some getting used to. And I wanted to show you the reality of when your bed and your working area are in the same place and how dangerous that is. But I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm going to take a quick little nap and then I'm going to get back to work. Um, I got a lot of stuff done so far. I recorded, my, recorded, edited, and uploaded my podcast. I also um, wrote a chapter of my book this morning. Um, and both of those were very mentally... Um, let me get up. Ugh. Both of those are very mentally taxing, um, high priority items for me and... My brain needs a break and I think it's really important and it's productive to take breaks. So that is what I am about to do um, and it will be involving a nap. But today was successful, okay? This morning we got up, as you'll see, we got up 5.50, took my sister. I went to the track that was, you know, right around the area where I dropped my sister off. Um, I walked and I prayed and I built myself up, you know, speaking in tongues. I've been really trying to get back into um, speaking in tongues. The Bible says to build yourself up in your most holy faith, um, praying, you know, in the spirit. And so that's what I've been doing. I walked a few laps and listened to some worship music. And then I came back and did my devotional time, which was really good. And I got right to work before all of that energy um, that I had um, drained out, which is right about now. And so... I think I'm going to take like a 30 minute, 15 minute nap, and then I'm going to jump right into finishing my last task, which is creating the slides um, for one of the programs that I'm teaching for tomorrow's class. And that's going to be our day. We're going to eat. We already meal prepped. Um, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day with guys. So my day should be, I should be done with most of my work by 1 p.m. today. And I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to force anything else. I um I do want to take this like online dance class. If you guys haven't heard of like An Eight Fitness, they do like on um they do classes, free classes and stuff on YouTube. Um, and I really really love their dance classes. They have a lot more rhythm than me, but that's not the point. I just really think that they're super fun. So I've been doing those recently. Um, but yeah, we got our workout in. We got our quiet time in. We got a lot of work done, and <laughs> we will see how the rest of the week goes as I've been starting this new routine. So I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.